I think it's an absolute disgrace, to be quite honest with you. You know, I think, you know, when we were in lockdown, people were having to sacrifice things, including the families, seeing the families and friends and doing as they were told to, you know, save lives, protect the NHS. And then you see things like this happening at number 10, it's an absolute disgrace. I think, to be honest, the general public have grown t quite tired of, of the, the revelations and the stories that have, have come out. There's obviously a lot of anger, I suppose, from people who've been directly impacted by the pandemic and who've, who've lost loved ones, which you, you, you can understand. But, um, look, I think these things have, have gone on that long now that, you know, I'd say a lot of the, the public have just kind of lost interest in, in the stories and maybe politics in general, given the, the sleaze that's gone on. I just think it's an unfortunate situation and a bit hypocritical. Um, you know, the country was in lockdown and we all were following the different rules. And so it's unfortunate that the government has um, kind of found a way to break the rules in, in a way that they seem is appropriate. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I'd say hypocritical is kind of the word that comes to mind.